Good morning, everyone. Jennifer LeClaire here with you. Senior Leader of the Awakening House of Prayer Movement. We're headquartered in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Come on down, plug in with us. There's some exciting things about to happen at AHOP in South Florida. I'm the founder of the Ignite Apostolic Prophetic Network. Get connected, join a pure prophetic company. No Rambos, no Lone Rangers and no false prophets allowed. Amen. We're pressing in together for that pure prophetic flow. And our devotion, Mornings with the Holy Spirit, I am the author, or should I say the Holy Spirit is the author. I just chronicled his words. Today's devotion titled, Make Room for More of Me. And here's what I heard the Lord say, Receive me, receive more of me. Make room in your heart for my truth. Make room in your heart for my wisdom, my gifts, my fruit, my power. Make room for me. Making room for more of me means setting aside heavy weights. Set aside worry. Set aside the world's distractions. Set aside bad memories from the past that slow you down. When you let go of these things, you will be able to reach new depths in my love. I will shed my love abroad in your heart so that you can pour out that love to others for the glory of Jesus, says the Spirit of God. That's a good word. Hebrews 12 and 1, Philippians 3, 13, and Romans 5, 5 are the scripture references today from the devotional. And the prayer starter, I will decrease so you can increase. I will crucify my flesh so there is more room for you. I will die daily to the things of this world. I will deny myself and carry my cross. I ask only one thing as I set out to do this. Give me grace. Give me grace in Jesus' name. Father, we give you praise this morning. As the God of all grace, you are the gracious God, the God of grace, the God of all grace. Your grace is sufficient for us, God. We thank you. We praise you. We lift up your name this morning. We exalt you and we make room for you, God. We choose today to set aside those ways, to set aside uh, those sins, to set aside the thoughts that detour our hearts, to set aside the frustrations that cloud our discernment, to set aside all of the things that hinder love. Lord, we choose today by force of our will to set them aside. to put them behind us, to get them out of our sight, to stop looking at them, to stop thinking about them, to stop meditating upon them, to stop talking about them, to stop confessing them, to stop, 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 and start looking at you. Start saying what you are saying about us, confessing your word in the face of the problem, confessing your will in the face of the drama, confessing you as king, you as Lord, you as savior, you as deliverer, confessing you coming into agreement with you. We do today, God, we break all agreement with the lies of the wicked one. We break all agreement, all of it, every string, every tie, all agreement. We break it now in the name of Jesus. We will not walk with the devil. We will not converse all day long with the devil, allowing him to drop thought bombs in our minds that lead us astray, that cause us not to persevere in our calling, that cause us to take uh, detours, that, that, that cause us to, to stumble and run into roadblocks. I just see a picture. You, if you ever try to drive down the road and you don't quite know exactly where you're going, your visibility is not perfectly clear and your Google Maps is not giving you the accurate direction and you end up thinking you can take a shortcut because you're late, but you run into a dead end. One of those cul-de-sacs and you've got to do a loop-de-loop to get out. The Lord says, that is how many of you are walking in this season. Your map is a little askew, says God, and you're not able to see too far in front of you, says the Lord. And you're looking for a shortcut through the trial, a shortcut through the desert, a shortcut through the wilderness. But the Lord would say to you today, stop looking for the shortcuts and just walk with me. I am your shortcut. I will take you 
you, says God, on the shortest path that you need to walk on in order for me to accomplish in your heart that which I am working on. For don't try to escape ahead of time, says the Lord. I am your way of escape and I will cause you to escape at the right moment at the perfect time, says God. So stop looking for a shortcut because all you're doing is delaying your journey. All you're doing by trying to take matters into your own hands is making the trip take longer. All that you're doing by trying to find a faster way through is causing yourself more confusion and more upset and more frustration, says God. So do it my way. Walk my way. Let my word be a lamp to your feet and a light to your path. Don't turn to the right or to the left because it seems like this is a better way because you can't figure out which way you're going. You're not hearing my voice. You're not seeing the way. Just keep walking in my spirit, says God. And I will lead you by default. I will order your steps. It's guaranteed. I will do it for you because I promised and I am not a man that I should lie, nor the son of man that I should repent. I will do this for you. Stop trying to wiggle your way out of my process, says God. Father, help us. Help us, Lord, to to, just really walk with you for real, to really choose to walk with you, even if it is through the fire, even if it is through the raging waters, God, even if it's through a hurricane force storm, would you help us to really trust you as we walk through these seasons of life where nothing seems to make sense. We don't want to walk with the devil. We don't want to walk with the devil. We don't want to walk with the devil. Amos 3, 3. How can two walk together unless they're agreed? God, we repent for agreeing with the enemy. (laughs) We repent for agreeing with him, walking with him, talking with them all throughout our day as if he's a friend, as if he is a truth bearer. Oh God, would you forgive us today? For the subtle agreement, the unacknowledged agreement, the agreement of unawareness of whose voice is really speaking to us, God, not discerning. It's us, it's you, it's the devil. It's us, it's you, it's the devil. Help us, Lord, to rightly discern as we confess your word, confess your word, confess your word. The word is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. The word is powerful. It's alive. It's sharper than any two-edged sword. The word divides between soul and spirit. It's the word. Hebrews 4.12. It is the word of God. Help us, Lord, to put that in our mouths. I just saw a picture of somebody chewing on gum, and the Lord said, if they'd chew on my word as much as they chew on the gum, they'd be out of this mess by now. Their mind would be renewed. They'd be stronger. Abashi. And I'm not picking on you. I'm not fussing at you if you chew gum. But my goodness, what if we chewed on the word? Would you help us, Lord, today to get our minds right, to get our mouths right, God, to begin to notice, to pray pray and watch, watch and pray, to be vigilant about what it is that's going on in our mind, to be awareness, to be aware and have awareness. Abashi. Help us, Lord, to get this straight so we can get our lives straight. Help us, Lord, to get our minds straight so we can get our mouth straight, so we can get our lives straight. Help us, Lord, to stop digging our own grave with the words of our mouth, God. Help us, Lord. 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 Help us, Lord, to consecrate our mouths. God, Help us, Lord, to stop falling for the same old enemy trap. To stop falling for the same old trap. The subtle suggestions. The serpent suggested to Eve. One of the translations of the Bible says the serpent suggested to Eve. Well, did God really say that? It was a suggestion, God. Help us to stop bowing to satanic suggestions. Help us to start thinking about what we're thinking about, thinking about what we're thinking about. Help us, Lord, to grab hold of our minds, Lord. Deliver our brains from evil. I'm telling you, if some of you would get your minds right, you'd lose that weight, your body would be healed, your stress levels would go down, your blood pressure with it. 
I'm telling you what, if some of you could get your mind right, your marriage would be solved, fixed, healed in a moment, reconciled, restored. I'm telling you, if you could get your minds right, you could get your finances right. Abashi. What did I just say? I said, if you could get your mind right, you could get your finances right. Some of you have wild, ungodly thinking about your money. The devil has fooled you. Shabashi kitera babashi. Oh God, expose the lie of the enemy that we are believing that is holding us back from your best. Oh God, expose the lies of the enemy that we are believing that is causing us to suffer unnecessarily. For we know there is suffering in this world, but we don't want to suffer for no reason. We don't want to suffer at the hand of the enemy. We don't want to suffer at our own hand, God. We know in this world there will be tribulation. You said, be of good cheer. We've overcome the world. God, would you help us to persevere? In our thought life, thinking, 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 what you have said about us in your word, would you help us when the problem comes, when the problem arises, when the problem manifests, when the problem stares us in the face? To say, God, what does your word say about this? To go search diligently, being good Bereans, searching out what does the Bible say about this, and to say the opposite of what the enemy is saying, not denying facts, not negating the reality there's a problem not trying to ignore it like a christian scientist we're not christian scientists we're christians jesus is the high priest of our confession confession means to say the same thing as or to agree with oh god help us agree with you would you help us to start agreeing with you god and not the enemy oh god help us to start really agreeing with you You've given us your testament, your will. You've given us your word. You, you, you've shown us your ways. God, would you help us to start agreeing with you and what you say about a thing? To get in your mind and say, God, what do you think about this? Because your thoughts are higher than our thoughts. And when all the thoughts come rushing in of, oh, lack or, oh, sickness or, oh, 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 whatever it is the enemy's bringing, frustration and anger and depression and all these things that are flooding our minds, God, would you help us to stop for a moment and say, okay, 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 okay. What does God think about this? Because this is attacking me. This problem is manifesting and it's ugly. Oh, it's so ugly. And it's persistent. Some of you, the warfare has been so persistent. Daniel 7, 25, the enemy comes to wear out the saints. He comes to wear you out, wear you out, wear you out, wear you out, to weary you. Your tongues are inflamed. Your soul is inflamed. Your life is inflamed by the tactics of the enemy. It's hard to speak properly when your tongue is swollen. Inflamed. It was a season in my life where I prayed in tongues so long that my jaw hurt. But it broke the warfare. Lord, help us, Lord, to be ones that pray in the Holy Ghost <laughs> more than we speak words, unless they're your words. Help us, Lord. Every time we are tempted to speak the word of the enemy, to speak words of death, to speak words of worry, to speak words of defeat, to speak words of evil, idle words, God. Lord, prompt us in our, in our spirit. Rise up within us, Holy, Holy Spirit. Rise up within us, Holy Spirit. Rise up within us. Help us, Lord, to, to, to train ourselves to pray in tongues every time we want to say a bad one. Every time we want to make a bad confession, an evil decree, help us, Lord, just to pray in tongues. Pray. Help us, Lord. Let that be a new habit in our lives today, starting now, right this moment. Let that be a habit in our lives, God. No man can tame the tongue, but the Holy Ghost can. Oh, we can't tame our tongues, but the Holy Ghost can. The Holy Ghost can. The Holy Ghost can. And He will. Help us, Lord, get it straight, get it straight, to 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 straighten it out. <laughs> we need your help, Holy Ghost. We need your help. We need your help, Holy Ghost. We need your help, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. This morning I was reading in First Kings. 
chapter 20. And Ben-Hadad was given Ahab a mighty hard time. And it came down to verse 12. And Ben-Hadad was angry at Ahab because he wouldn't acquiesce to his unreasonable demands. <laughs> Sometimes the enemy gets really angry when you don't fall for his tricks, when you will not acquiesce to his unreasonable demands. And Ben-Hadad said, prepare to attack. And what you don't understand in the season, beloved, perhaps what you do not yet comprehend or haven't caught on to in the middle of the onslaught is there was a moment, there was a moment where the enemy rose up with such great pride that he gathered his network of demon powers together concerning you. They met together concerning you because you would not acquiesce to his demands. And the enemy said, prepare for attack. And the cohorts of hell began to assemble and weave a strategy to kill, steal, destroy in your life. But today, I said today, we are going to prepare for attack. We are going to be the ones. Prepare to attack in Jesus' name. And the Lord's saying, prepare yourselves for the next battle. It is at hand and it is even nigh unto you. For I am going to cause you to go like David at Gilgal. When all of the enemy forces came against him at his vulnerable moment. And I'm going to cause you to go up and recover all, says God. I'm going to cause you to go up and recover all that which the enemy took. But you must prepare for attack, says the Lord. Take your position, says God. Stand your ground, says the Lord. Station yourselves. Get ready. Set yourselves in array, says the Spirit of God. For as you prepare yourself and set yourself apart and even consecrate yourself for what I have called you to do, the enemy will array himself against you but I am on your side says the Lord but you must prepare yourself you must set yourself apart you must enter into training mode you must get ready get your mind ready says God get your heart ready says the Lord oh get your family ready shore up what you have Strengthen that which remains. Oh, you may feel, says God, like you've lost a lot. You may feel, says God, like you've lost it all. But strengthen what remains. My spirit remains in you. The weapons of your warfare remain with you. Take strength in that which remains. Take strength in that which you do have. Stop looking at what you've lost with great fear and great mourning and great grief and great self-pity and begin to look at that which you have left. I am with you. You have me, says God. My spirit rests upon you, dwells within you. I have given you the weapons of my warfare. Prepare, 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 prepare for war. Prepare for attack. Station yourselves for I am able to make you stand. Stand and withstand in the evil day is what you have been doing. But I'm calling you forth now to go into the enemy's camp and take back what was stolen from you. Because what was stolen from you was stolen from me. For those things which I gave you, says God, I gave them to you. Therefore, you are just a possessor. You are just a steward. The enemy has no right to take that which I have given to you as a gift. So array yourselves, says God. Station yourselves for battle. Stand your ground. Prepare for attack. And you will see, you will go up and recover all. When you follow my lead and you follow my way. For I have a battle plan, says God. I have a way of doing things. Would you get in my heart? Search me. Seek me and you will find the plan that I have ordained for you. It's not somebody else's plan I've called you to fight with. It's not someone else's armor I've called you to put on. It's my armor. It's my plan. It's not someone else's sword I've called you to fight with. It's my sword. Do it my way. Do it my way. Do it my way. But the Lord says, you cannot do it my way unless you can see it my way. And my ways are higher than your ways. So humble yourself, says God, and trust me again. 
Prepare for battle. Prepare for attack. Prepare to go on the offense. Prepare to recover all. Get in my word. Worship me. See me as I am. I am the Lord. I am a warrior. And I will fight with you, for you, through you. But you got to do it my way, says God. Father, help us to fight your way, Habashi. Help us to prepare ourselves. Before Joshua crossed over to the promised land with the Israelites, the Lord said, consecrate yourselves today, for tomorrow I will do marvelous works among you. Ah, that's a word right there. Prepare yourselves, consecrate yourselves, set yourselves apart. Father, help us to stop complaining about the status of our life and what the enemy stole when we are not doing anything about it but eating popcorn and watching TV. Help us, Lord, to stop maining, maintaining a victim mentality. Oh, woe is me. Nobody else has it this bad. Nobody else has this much warfare. Nobody else has to have these constant attacks all the time. Father, help us to, to shed the victim mentality because underneath that, underneath that, underneath that, we'll find our true identity that's been buried by the persistent attacks, that's been buried and, 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 and dirt kicked over us and, 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 and stomped on and climbed over. Help us, Lord, to dig deeper and remember who we are in Christ so we can prepare our minds battlefield is the mind the battleground is the mind I'm telling you saints the battlefield is the mind the battleground is the mind you want to know where the open door is bingo oh, I don't have any open doors I don't have any open doors uh, oh yeah yeah you do it's right between your ears it's right there it's your mind that's the open door it doesn't have to be sin then again isn't it sin to take a thought that defies the word of God when the Bible says whatever is not a faith is sin. Is that what it says? So, Father, would you help us today? Because that is what it says. To gird up the loins of our mind. To gird them up, to gird them up, to gird them up, to gird them up, to gird up the loins of our minds. To prepare for attack. Not just the attack against us, but to go and attack the strongholds of the enemy. Where our goods, our joy, our peace is stored up been held ransom Jesus paid the ransom for us so it belongs to us father help us today to get it right to get our minds right to catch the devil's lies the whispers the subtle thoughts we think it's us it's not us help us Lord to get it right give us the grace to take on this battle against our mind as we pr- prepare to go into the enemy's camp and take back what he stole. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God is good. Prepare for attack. Prepare to attack. Ahab said, yeah, I'll give you my children, my wives, all the treasures. And then Ben-Hadad wanted to come and take more. And Ahab said, no, now you've gone too far. And when Ahab would not acquiesce to all his demands, he set out to attack him. But guess what? Ahab, as evil as he was, the Lord was even on his side on that. So whatever evil thing you may have done, repent. Get back on God's side and he'll help you straighten it all out. Amen. He's a merciful God. We've just got to do it his way. Amen. God is good. I have a couple of announcements. London, I'll be with you on Friday. Friday in the day, School of the Prophets and Seers in London. Go to jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com. Also, you can sign up for the AHOP Windsor meeting and the Prophetic Revival Night there in South London. Listen, if you want to sow into this today, we do need your partnership. I know I do this every day. But not everybody's on this call every day. And those of you who are don't really mind. This is where most people start signing off anyway. So only the hardcore supporters are here by this time. We do need your partnership, your prayer partnership, PrayForJennifer.com. Please go sign up there at PrayForJennifer.com and get involved in our prayer groups. We do need your prayer support. We need to know what is the Lord saying to you? What is he showing you? Is there an attack coming? Is there a blessing coming? What are the dreams and visions you're receiving? Listen, join our prayer group at PrayForJennifer.com. But we also do need uh, 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 
financial partners and media missionaries. Financial partners, we need you. We need you. We need you. You know, Paul said, my God shall supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. He was actually talking to his partners. It wasn't a random thought. Amen. And so there's power in partnership. You pray for me. I pray for you. And we can do more together than we could ever do individually. You can go to jenniferleclair.org slash donate. jenniferleclair.org slash donate. Making notes. jenniferleclair.org slash donate. You can become a partner there or you can sow a one-time seed there. At jenniferleclair.org slash donate. You can use the cash app. Cash app is dollar sign Jennifer LeClaire. You guys like using that. Dollar sign Jennifer LeClaire. You can use the text to give. Text to give is 754-701-2161. Text the word pray. 754-701-2161. Text the word pray. You can use the Venmo is at Jennifer LeClaire. The Venmo is at Jennifer LeClaire. You can use the PayPal, paypal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire, paypal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. You can use the P.O. Box, P.O. Box 30563, Fort Lauderdale, Florida 33303, P.O. Box 30563, Fort Lauderdale, Florida 33303. I'm going to pray over this offering. Father, I thank you for the opportunity to sow into your kingdom. I thank you, Lord, that your your word doesn't return void, neither do the seeds that we sow in the ground. Help us, Lord, to water these seeds with our words and not to curse our harvest with doubt and unbelief. I thank you, Lord, that you multiply the seed back to the givers in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen. God is good. God is good. God is good. Tonight, I'm going to be teaching on revoking, uh, no, 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 releasing imprecatory prayers. Releasing imprecatory prayers. Releasing imprecatory prayers. Nobody really teaches on that so much in America, but these are the cursing prayers. Should we release them? How do we release them? Should we be send the curse back to the enemy's camp? What does that mean? When would you do that if you should do that? I'm going to be teaching on that. We're in warfare mode. We need to understand these things. If you're in South Florida, you can just come. If you're in South Florida, you can just come to Awakening House of Prayer. If you want to watch it online, and this is becoming a very popular course, a lot of people signing up for this because not that many people teach about it. If you want, and I'm going to be demonstrating this as well. And I've got a particular prayer that I'm going to release tonight. As well, so you can uh, you can sign up for that if you're if you're if you're not in South Florida, you can sign up for it online at schoolofthespirit.tv. An email went out about it yesterday. It's part of the School of Prayer and Intercession. School of Prayer and Intercession. You can just sign up for that one class. Your best value is to sign up for the entire vault. That's your best value. Check it out. Schoolofthespirit.tv. School of Prayer and Intercession banner. Scroll down and find that there. Now, 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 now. I want to remind you quickly before I do forget that I am launching a new Instagram decrees, prophetic decrees. It'll be about one minute long. And you need to get signed up for my Instagram if you have not already. It will only be on Instagram. It will not be on Facebook. It will not be on uh, YouTube. It will only be on Instagram. I found a really cool way to accomplish this goal. I've been trying to do it for a, a while. And I do have a new book called Victory Decrees. That's coming out in December. It's a new devotional from which we'll be reading a lot next year. But I'm crafting some original content for these one-minute decrees. I'm going to decree over your life. And then you can repeat them. You can listen to it more than once. And in doing this, you'll be learning how to decree properly. Remember what I told you? This is the year of the decree. So it's no surprise that I have a, a book called Victory Decrees coming out, although it's coming out toward the end of the year. Uh, it is still coming out. That's a, a prophetic uh, confirmation. And, and it's, not just, it's not like you can just decree this year. It's just that God was really highlighting this to me this year and in the body of Christ. So get on my Instagram at the Jennifer LeClaire, at 
the Jennifer LeClaire. Go sign up. The other day you said, oh, I'm going to sign up. You didn't. I saw that you didn't. Don't lie to me, beloved. Go sign up. Go sign up on Instagram. Amen. The Jennifer LeClaire. All right. London is Friday. Uh, School of the Prophets and Seers. You can still sign up at jenniferleclaire.eventbrite.com. Prophetic Revival Night. Ahop Windsor is on Saturday. Um, Atlanta, I'll be with you the one year anniversary on September 24th is an extremely inconvenient time for me to be there. I'm in between two extremely long, uh, trips, but I'm going to make my way up there to do an impartation service on September the 24th, Jennifer LeClaire.eventbrite.com school of deliverance, school, of the spirit.tv supernatural debt cancellation service. All these are coming up very soon. School of the Spirit TV, Ahop TV, Awakening House of Prayer. Looking to build up our House of Prayer even more. If you're in South Florida and you're a singer, a musician, you want to serve in the House of Prayer. We want to hear from you. We do want to hear from you. We do want to hear from you. Ignite. I don't talk about this that much anymore. You know, I do have a company of seers and I do have a, a company of prophets through the Ignite Network, and you can be part of that. I do offer commissioning and alignment, covering for churches, but this is also not just for, for full time, you know, vocational prophets, it's for prophetic people. It's a safe place. The whole point of Ignite is to create an atmosphere of safety in the prophetic where people can learn and grow, share what they're hearing, get good feedback, get advice, get prayer, because we all know we deal with a lot of warfare. And this is the purpose of Ignite. It's, it's almost three years old. It'll be three years old in November be three years old. And we've activated and uh, helped thousands of prophetic people at this point. Amen. Some of you, you might not have that time to stay focused on being in that group every day, all the time, like some of our, our top contributors, but you can still sow into a pure prophetic move and know that you're facilitating that when you join ignite ignite and, and you know, the company of the seers is within that. You're going to see me focusing a lot more on the seer realm, spiritual warfare and deliverance. Those are my three primary mandates right now. So it's always been my three primary mandates, prophetic, which includes prayer, spiritual warfare, which also includes prayer and deliverance. So those are my three main, there's always been my three main spiritual thrusts, spiritual warfare, deliverance, which kind of, they kind of go hand in hand and prayer and the prophetic, which all those kind of mash up together in some, some realm, don't they? So get involved in what's going to bless you. Go check out the, new book also victory decrees it's on amazon it'll be out in december we're gonna we're not gonna read from that every day next year but we're gonna we're gonna read from it some we're gonna mix it up you know the mornings with the holy spirit devotional is still my best-selling book ever i just got my stats from charisma house and uh still my best-selling book ever can you imagine it's in spanish it's in portuguese there are journals and special editions. They've just really made a little franchise out of it. It's there. Amen.